Hello and welcome to Technocademy again after a long time. Uh, you know, today topic is an interesting and uh, I just received a lot of inquiries regarding Google AdSense ads uh, problem uh, on my WhatsApp and uh, on my Upwork and LinkedIn account. And people are uh, inquiring that why my Google AdSense are not showing on my WordPress website or any uh, other, they may have Blogger and they may have uh, any other uh, CMS system. But the main issue is uh, why Google AdSense ads are not showing uh, on website. So I just uh, become a weather of pre-research and I want to tell you uh, the reasons behind uh, this issue and once you've uh, solved these issues uh, there will be no uh, problem uh, for medicines and I just uh, embedded a troubleshooter as well in the end of this video so let's go uh, with the basic reasons about uh, this problem so here are some reasons the first reason it may be the ad was activated less than 48 hours ago if uh, you have just activated your adsense uh, 48 hours ago then you may facing this issue because it takes some time uh, google adsense to roll out uh, the ads on your website properly uh, so if uh, you just you have just activated the ads um, uh, 48 hours ago then just give it some time and the problem will resolve uh, the second reason there could be the ad is blocked by security software or browser extension uh, you may using uh, an anti-blocker or the person that are not seeing your ads may be using anti-blocker or an extension and something like that uh, and if you just uh, delete or just uh, disable the extension you will see uh, the ads and the second reason it could be the site verification status in Google AdSense is unverified. Uh, I will tell you in the end about this point, but uh, it's not about the pen verification of the website. Uh, sometimes if mm, your pen is arrived and uh, you are not uh, uh, receiving your pen, or you are not verifying your pen, then it could be a problem, but uh, the verification in this point doesn't mean exactly the pen verification. It's the ads that takes T verification on the website. Uh, so the fourth reason, uh, your site may have a policy violation. Uh, you uh, may receive a text message, uh, an email from the AdSense uh, that uh, in, we have limited the amount of ads on your website uh, due to a policy violation. And the policy violation may be invalid clicks, maybe accidental clicks. I had already explained it in my previous video. Uh, you can watch it in uh, the channel. Uh, and the AdSense, the, the, the fifth reason is the AdSense account has been flagged for invalid traffic, redirects. The invalid traffic issue, I already discussed it. Uh, what does exactly mean by invalid traffic? You can explore this topic in my channel. And uh, what does I mean by redirects? If you are redirect a specific page to uh, a different destination then uh, there could be a problem in showing it some ads on that page uh, for this you can specifically go to that redirected page and embed the AdSense codes manually uh, to that uh, page and the problem will resolve but uh, if uh, there is uh, the, the above reasons are not applied on your site and still uh, ads are not showing then these following reasons are specifically my own research and my own uh, techniques and uh, uh, it's my own experience with this. Uh, the first one is content length is minimum than 600 words. If your uh, content length on the page on which you want to show it since ads uh, is less than Mm, uh, 600 words then there will be no AdSense ads and AdSense may uh, just limit the, the amount of ads or they may just stop uh, showing ads on that specific page where the content is less than uh, 
600 volts keep this point in your mind and the second reason tool sites uh, specifically tools websites like uh, YouTube video downloader or uh, a gaming website as a website is it mm, just using tools like uh, background remover or mm, screen recorder or something else like that if you are a site owner uh, mm, and you have a tool sites then you may specifically face this issue because and the tool sites people are just uh, writing a very minimum content uh, in less than 600 words sometimes and uh, they just put it uh, on the website then google adsense just specifically focus on the content that uh, if a visitor uh, visit your website and there is no content what does um, he she will read so google will stop showing ads and specifically tool sites are facing this problem and if you are a tool site owner you are directed to write minimum 600 words even if you can write uh, more than 600 words then you should uh, write it and uh, just uh, um, fill your page with the content just uh, uh, fulfill the criteria of AdSense ads to show ads properly on your website and the third reason there may be a copyright content you may have just copied the content from someone else it could be uh, poor quality content the content could be like meaningless to Google and if you are writing something like that then uh, Google won't show ads on that uh, content because if the content is stolen from someone why Google will monetize that content for you why Google will give you money for something done by someone else so keep in mind if uh, your Google AdSense is uh, uh, approved and you are copying content from someone else website and putting it on your website then you may facing this issue because of that uh, I just noticed some people are uh, just writing AI content through tools and uh, some people are using RSS feed up some news websites to uh, to write uh, um, content through automated tools and the website and publishing it on um, just in one minute it can publish 10 to 20 articles just in one minute and from your that tool will get in the content they are getting the content from other sites so if uh, you are using other sites content why Google will monetize it for you so avoid it and uh, the problem will resolve and uh, fourth one child content for example if someone is writing um, stories for children and things like that which can read by people um, less than 15 years old then Google sometimes don't show ads on those sites because kids don't buy um, things on Google and online platforms so if you are a site owner writing specifically for kids um, for children uh, then you may facing this issue and the uh, uh, last reason that I just mentioned about the um, um, unverified status of your site and Google AdSense it specifically referred to ads.txt file sometimes you will see a notification bar on your AdSense above that uh, there is an error and then that txt file and you um, please fix this issue uh, exactly what is ads.txt it's a file given by Google AdSense to you when you uh, click on the fix button you will download the file automatically and you have to put that file in your C panel and from here Google will authenticate your website uh, that uh, this specific uh, Google AdSense uh, account is associated to this specific website which hosted by this specific hosting so that's exactly the, the AdSense verification means uh, 
uh, if you um, didn't fix your sdtxt file uh, from a long time then you should fix it now to re uh, to, to to resolve this issue again and if you are facing any technical problem and placing the sdtxt file and things like that you can just ask me or just watch my another video i think i had already recorded another video on the sdtxt file how to um, uh, place the sdtxt file uh, if i didn't then i will uh, but you can ask me in my comment section uh, exactly how you can fix if you have any of the above issue just um, go through your website just go through these um, points just notice them if you have any of these issue and your website you can resolve it and one by one just check one by one um, and this checklist will help you if you find any of these error in your website just um, resolve it and i hope the issue will be fixed soon and if uh, you did not um, specifically if there is no issue related to you if there is uh, nothing you you would do uh, in this checklist if there is nothing related to your website and still ads are not shown then there are another way AdSense Ads uh, Troubleshooter the AdSense Ads Serving Troubleshooter you can explore this I will give uh, the AdSense Ads Troubleshooter link in my description just go to the Troubleshooter link and they will ask you some specific questions and fill that form and uh, fill that checklist they will ask you that you may have this you may have this and just answer them yes or no yes or no and then the form will automatically fill and you can submit the form to AdSense and after 20, uh, 48 hours your ads will start appearing again and uh, another thing you can uh, just uh, email that and support by your support system and if still you are facing a problem if still uh, you can't solve the issue if um, you are not an expert in it some technical things then you can hire an it's specialist or you can contact me uh, from my channel uh, there is my whatsapp number as well in the comment the the, the description and, and my channel my upper profile and my other social media um, platforms as well thank you for watching